Thank you for taking the time to look at this video today. You will hear from people at St. Herman Seminary their ideas, what has helped them in their life, because that's exactly what the seminary was founded for, was to have a group of indigenous people to serve the indigenous people of Alaska. They follow a legacy that began over 200 years ago when St. Herman and the missionaries from the Balam Monastery came here to Kodiak to inculcate them into the Orthodox Church in an Alaskan way for the Alaskan people. Today, St. Herman's carries on that same legacy, helping to train people in an Alaskan way to serve Alaskan people. This is the only seminary of its kind in the United States, and the people who come here are from all over Alaska. So I'm grateful that we have this opportunity to present to you a little of our treasure that we have here in Kodiak. And I hope you enjoy the video. God bless you. This is about humanity. Uh, what does it mean to be Not truly human? St. German Seminary is literally founded upon a rock, not only physically, but spiritually as well. Physically not only upon the rock of this island, but spiritually upon the rock of the confession of our Lord Jesus Christ. So it's building this foundation for us that can't, once that's there, that's like a firm foundation. Nothing, it doesn't matter what's coming your way, you know, you're not going to get blown off of this rock. This and is my island, you know, and I don't have to go way far away to go to school. This is right here on my island and I can learn what I need to help my village. A very strong love for the land which God has given me. Very strong love for all that has provided for me and my family and uh, my tribe people around me who I loved and all the nourishment that it provides. We really enjoyed it here. The, like the whole uh, Kodak community has been like really nice. My uh, kids enjoy like uh, getting to know a lot of kids and like all the playgrounds and stuff here. They they really like it and they love their school. The goal of St. Herman Seminaries, first of all, is to provide training for, for the many clergy candidates. Or... There is an extreme shortage of uh, personnel in, in the interior villages and the, on, the, on the rivers. now understand the meaning of those words I heard in the epistle, pray without ceasing. Every day there's a new, something new I've learned. We are 
the heirs to the missionary legacy of the Russian Church, from St. Herman, St. Innocent, St. Yaakov, uh, all the original missionaries, and we are uh, carrying on their mission of education. Struggling together to all the trials, all the tribulations, all the differences, ultimately, as we pray, that uh, we may be united as one body in Christ. Really provide a, a, a formation for the whole student. You know, our students live here. Uh, we go to chapel together. Uh, we go to class together. We do uh, work study together. So uh, it's not only book learning, but uh, that time of Christian formation and community that's important. We are a, we're a small uh, community that strives to live the Christian life together and uh, worship together, study together, and uh, pray together. The education that you get here is top rate. I mean, I look at my professors and I just see so much wisdom and understanding. One of the most um, Humbling things coming to St. Herman Seminary is uh, interacting with the professors. The war is glorified because there is a miraculous appearance of the Theotokos. But this passion is the stability of soul, this peace as we talked about. They give you the tools you need, and that's through the liturgics, the doctrine, spirituality. New Testament, Old Testament, um, even languages we're learning, you know, and that's just, where else can you find that? All right here in this little, this little place here. They'll make something happen to help you to succeed and to become successful. They want to see you succeed. Oh, we are to care for the poor. We're to visit uh, the prisoners, those in institutions, because they are created in the image of God. That homeless guy in the corner, they might pass. The one asking for your spirit change. He's in the image of God. Uh, you're looking at an icon. I think that our students bring uh, their traditional uh, approach to uh, Orthodox Christianity with them to the seminary and that's something that uh, I've uh, over the years really grown to appreciate. You know, uh, a lot can be said about the, the needs in rural Alaska. That's one side of the story. There's another uh, side that we don't talk about as much and that's the strength of our people. They've uh, grown up uh, in a little orthodox country and um, that the values of their traditional society have been very much shaped by the Orthodox Church. ask the seminarians what it meant to them to come to Kodiak and be part of the seminary. And uh, you could tell how it had changed them. They were much more eloquent and uh, proud of their 
accomplishments and it, uh, you can see that over a period of a year that it had strengthened them as a person, uh, as a possible leader in their community. I feel so privileged to have been a witness and be there during their uh, like development and growth and to, to be uh, somehow uh, uh, a part of that. So uh, that's one of my most favorite things about teaching here. Coming to seminary has been the best sacrifice in my life. It's been, been really good. And I'm glad we came here. This is uh, a small bit of paradise that's kind of tucked in in the big community here that we call big considering our villages and everything. It's been our, our joy and privilege and honor to have them in the city where we live. And we hope they'll have the courage, more of you have the courage to come.